Good day, everyone. Today, we will be discussing weather disturbances. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. This time, you will learn about the weather disturbances. The Philippines experiences an average of 20 typhoons a year. The biggest contributor of the weather disturbances in our country is the Pacific Ocean, which lies on the eastern part of the country. The typhoon is just one of the many weather disturbances we experience. Low Pressure Area or LPA and High Pressure Area This refers to the weight of air that is pressing down on Earth. An abrupt change in air pressure can trigger weather disturbances. When cold air sinks, it results to high pressure area. Since most of the air is pressing down, the air on the surface becomes dry. But when air rises, less air presses downward resulting to the formation of low pressure area. An LPE can result to weather disturbances such as rains and strong winds. Classification of cyclone according to strength of wind. Tropical disturbance. It is an isolated weather system with an apparent circulation. It is characterized by a poorly developed wind circulation. This is commonly observed throughout the wet tropics and subtropics. Tropical Depression it is a weak, low-pressure disturbance with a definite surface circulation. A tropical depression has a maximum wind speed of up to 61 km per hour. It is most common in the equatorial region or the intertropical convergent zone. Tropical Storm Once a tropical depression has intensified, it becomes a tropical storm. A tropical storm is a moderate tropical cyclone with maximum wind speed of 62 to 88 km per hour. It is more organized and more circular in shape. The rotation of tropical storm is more recognizable than that of a tropical. Typhoon Typhoon is an intense weather disturbance having a circular shape and with an average size of about 500 kilometers in diameter. The wind blows toward the center called the eye. Tropical cyclones are identified based on the speed of the circulating wind. If the speed of the wind is 60 km per hour or less, it is known as depression. If the speed becomes 60 to 118, it is known as storm. And if the speed is more than 118, it is called typhoon. Changes of weather before during and after a typhoon. Before the typhoon, before a typhoon occurs, high clouds are observed in the sky. The air is dry and cold since most of the warm air has already risen. The relative humidity is high. The wind blows gently and scattered rain showers may occur. During the typhoon 
During a typhoon, the sky is dark and cloudy. Heavy rainfall accompanied by strong winds occurs. Big waves are also observed near the coast. When these waves become unusually high due to abnormally high ocean tides, a storm surge occurs. Flash floods may also occur due to heavy rainfall. Landslides may be triggered by flash floods and heavy rains. Some trees and crops may be uprooted of strong winds. After the Typhoon After a typhoon, the sun becomes visible and the sky becomes clearer. There might be scattered rain showers. Rescue and relief operations are also ongoing. There might be an outbreak of waterborne diseases, influenza, and dengue. Some areas may still be flooded and recovering from the typhoon. If a certain place is severely devastated, many residents are staying in the evacuation areas. Public Storm Warning Signal In order to determine the strength of typhoon, the Pag-asa issues public storm warning signals. The table below shows the strength of typhoon entering the Philipp the Par, as well as the impact of winds. Public Storm Warning Signal Number 1 Winds moving at a speed of 30 to 60 km per hour may be expected in at least 36 hours or irregular winds may be expected within 36 hours. When the tropical cyclone develops very close to the locality, a shorter lead time of the occurrence of the wind will be specified in the warning bulletin unless this warning signal is upgraded during the entire existence of the tropical cyclone only very light or no damage at all may be sustained by the exposed communities public storm warning signal number two winds moving at a speed of 61 to 100 km per hour may be expected in at least 24 hours. In general, the wind may bring light to moderate damage to the affected communities. Public Storm Warning Signal Number 3 Winds moving at a speed of 121 to 170 km per hour may be expected at least 18 hours in general. Moderate to heavy damage may be experienced particularly in the agricultural and industrial sectors. Public Storm Warning Signal Number 4 Winds moving at a speed of 171 to 220 km per hour may be expected in at least 12 hours. With PSWS number 2, the locality is very unlikely to hit directly by the eye of the typhoon. As the eye of the typhoon approaches, the weather will continuously worsen with the winds increasing to its strongest, coming generally from the north. Public Storm Warning Signal number 5 Winds moving at a speed of 220 km per hour or above may be expected in at least 12 hours. Winds would bring widespread damage to high-risk structures. Let's do this! Conduct a simple interview with the members of your family about their observations on the changes of weather before, during, and after a typhoon 
record their responses in the table. Changes of weather before a typhoon. The sky and clouds become darker or dark. The wind blows gentle to stronger. There are scattered rain showers. Changes of weather during a typhoon. Strong winds and heavy rainfalls. There are some landslides and floods. Some trees, houses, and electric posts are destroyed. Changes of weather after a typhoon. Sun becomes visible and the sky is clearer. Some scattered rain. Many residents are staying in the evacuation areas. Let's do this! List down the effects of wind during the different public storm warning signal. Public storm warning signal number one, effects of the wind. Only very light or no damage at all may be sustained by the exposed communities. Public storm warning signal number two, effects of wind. In general, the wind may bring light to moderate damage to the affected communities. Public storm warning signal number three, Effects of wind, in general, moderate to heavy damage may be experienced, particularly in the agricultural and industrial sectors. Public storm warning signal number four. Effects of wind, in general, heavy damage may be experienced, particularly in the agricultural and industrial sectors. Public storm warning signal number 5. Effects of wind. Wind would bring widespread damage to high-risk structures. Let's do this. True or false? Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. Public storm Signal number 1 is characterized by winds moving at a speed of 220 km per hour or above may be expected in at least 12 hours. Wind would bring widespread damage to high-risk structures. This is wow! After a typhoon occurred, high clouds are observed in the sky. This is a wow! Public storm signal number 3 is characterized by winds moving at a speed of 121 to 170 km per hour, may be expected at least 18 hours. In general, moderate to heavy damage may be experienced particularly in the agricultural and industrial sectors. Tropical disturbance is a weak low pressure disturbance with a definite sur surface circulation. Tropical depression is an intense weather disturbance having more or less a circular shape and in, with an average size of about 500 kilometers in diameter. Let's do this! Use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast the effects of the changes of the weather before, during, and after a typhoon in the community. Before a typhoon occurs, high clouds are observed in the sky. During a typhoon, the sky is dark and cloudy. Heavy rainfall accompanied by strong winds occurs. 
after a typhoon, the sun becomes visible and the sky becomes clearer. There might be scattered rain showers, scattered rains, blowing winds, and flooded. Let's do this. Put a check mark on the column that corresponds the condition of each statement. Some areas may be flooded. This is during the typhoon. There is a heavy rain accompanied by strong wind. This is during typhoon. Sun becomes visible and the sky becomes clearer. This is after typhoon. The sky is dark and cloudy. This is during typhoon. The clouds are high. This is before typhoon. Some areas may still be flooded. This is after typhoon. Floods, flash floods may occur due to heavy rainfall. This is during typhoon. The relative humidity is high. This is before typhoon. Big waves can be observed near the coast. This is during the typhoon. There is an occurrence of scattered rain. This is before typhoon. Let's do this. Matching type. Match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. It is moderate tropical cyclone with maximum speed of 62 to 88 km per hour. This is letter D. It is characterized by winds moving at a speed of 61 to 100 km per hour may be expected in at least 24 hours. Letter B. It can result to weather disturbances such as rains and strong winds. This is letter C. It is a weather condition that observed after a typhoon. This is letter F. It is a government agency that keeps track of cyclones that enter the par. This is letter E. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.